Yeah, I thought we strung some some good at bats together. Uh, you're right, Braxton had the first single. Thought their guy, I thought Thompson was outstanding. I mean, he's the kind of guy that I guess you play 162 game season. You know, I guess that's why those guys go in and work at their craft in the cage so much. Because if you he don't show up ready against that guy, he's uh, he's a handful and uh, had three pitches working. Uh, yeah, as far as your answer your question, as far as Braxton goes, good to see him get a swing off, good to see it fall. Uh, you know, I thought I thought the inning we scored all the runs. You know, the, the whole lineup we we strung strung together some good at bats. Just in terms of Cam, I guess uh, how would you kind of rate his uh, batting performance in that big moment? Because obviously you can have those big moments, but you have to still obviously execute in those. Yeah, I'm not into rating it. I mean he. He drove in three stakes, is what I know, and you know he's not going to be. Nobody's going to be perfect, and uh, you know we want him to go have the freedom to make adjustments and play the game. And if I'm always rating it, we're going to be in trouble. How do you evaluate Lanning's start today? I thought he's outstanding. I mean, I thought he's just what the doctor ordered, and went out through the ball on both sides of the plate, and commanded two secondary pitches, and. Uh, did a really good job in the inning when they got first and third, slowed the game down, and uh, managed that inning really good. What do you think the key was to, to you all being able to get those runs off um, Thompson in that fifth inning? Oh, I think the, probably the biggest thing is, is Josh hits the ball where the guy makes the, the good play, and I think a lot of times you, you go to the inning being over, and we're just getting in the middle of our order. I mean, you got Klein comes up, puts together good at bat and Facendo, and and then Noisy, and then Otremba, and next thing you know, it's uh, you got to go make some pitches, and uh, that's baseball do that to you. I mean, it's perfectly normal that happen. Just in terms of the relievers, how, how have you felt uh, Connor's been doing, and kind of everyone else is coming out of the bullpen? Seems like they've really been. Um, you know, really, really proud of the way those guys are showing up. And, uh, you know, ready to go pitch. Obviously, um, you know, Queen didn't make the pitch he wanted to make today. But I think everybody there had a role and everybody did everything they could. They gave us their best effort. and uh, Not always going to execute pitches, but, you know, staying within yourself in those big moments is probably the biggest key in committing to the pitch. Cam, just take us through that, uh, that basis clearing double. I was just trying to get a pitch to hit, and oh, we had two outs, and I just needed to get a big hit, and I've been finding a hole in, down the line or inside the third baseman. What does it do for you guys as a lineup when uh, you have the starter uh, perform the way that Lanning did? Oh, it was great. I think he had no earned. He just he went five, I think, and he just we needed that big today for him to go pretty deep into the game. How much more confidence does that give you guys? Oh, we had confidence coming in, but we were just glad Eric could come out and pitch well today. Can you speak to the hitting and kind of just the clutchness of it? You guys got a couple of them with the two outs. Obviously, yours was a two-out hit. Yeah, we had some big hits today. Thompson obviously has really good stuff, and he was tough to for us to get going for a while. And we had some good hit or some clutch hits and two outs in the fifth inning and later on too. I guess what did Braxton singles do for you all, just in terms of just either starting something or? What, was there something different when he did get that single and you guys realized, okay, we can get a hit off this guy? Oh, I mean, Josh had already barreled one. We knew that we could put the – I mean, we knew we could hit him, if, but we knew it was going to be tough. And Braxton did get it going, and he had – he barreled the ball all day. He had three – he hit the ball hard all day. So it's good for Braxton to, start, to keep hitting the ball well. It's still early in the season, but how do you evaluate all these come-from-behind wins? <laughs> Hopefully we get started off better <laughs> here pretty soon. Not have to come back from behind, but – we keep fighting, come back. Hopefully we get started sooner, though, coming up. What does it say about this team's resiliency that all of your wins have uh, been from a couple runs down? Oh, we never we never give up. It could be the ninth inning, two outs. We're going to go out there and try to have good at bats and make pitches, make plays, and try to make a comeback regardless of the score. A lot of the guys were harping on uh, Thompson the other day, and he was pitching really well. But what was the key for you guys to get a couple runs off him in that sixth inning? Oh, we had those, like you were saying earlier, we had those two out hits. Uh, we were just trying to get him, get his pitch count up, and honestly trying to get out of the game because obviously he's a great arm. He's going to go high in the draft. He's got great stuff, and 
just working so well for you to start off the game today? Um, I think, I don't know, I kind of got into a routine early. Um, I kind of was, when I was warming up, it's just sometimes you wake up in the morning and you feel good. And uh, I don't know, I went out with a certain confidence. And I'm, I mean, I love playing with these guys. So uh, going out there and getting the ball, it's just, it's awesome. In terms of your pitches, what was working for you? I know Coach was talking about your secondary, kind of working pretty well today. Yeah, that was that was a big factor in it because, I mean, we were kind of living off the off speed. Um, they were kind of jumping on the fastball up, uh, kind of making me pay for my mistakes with the fastball. So once I realized that, just kind of keep the off speed down, and uh, it was working pretty well. Is the off speed, is that change up? Yeah, change up. Change. I, threw, I threw a few sliders in there, but we were mainly working on the change up. It's for you just knowing that you're kind of going against a guy that obviously isn't going to give up a lot of runs. Is that pressure on you, or is that just you? You're trying to just obviously kind of match his, match his energy, or I guess what, what, what's the mindset going into that? Well, I mean, uh, as a pitcher, you're always out there competing, so um, I'm not really, not really looking at it as he's going to give up less runs than me. I'm kind of just out there to do better than he does, I guess. What's the key in still being effective when you know you give up a couple runs, but they're not earned? Uh, sticking to it, I mean, it's going to happen. Stuff like that's going to happen. Uh, I know um, last weekend I messed up. The guys have my back. We come back from an 8-0, 8-0 uh, deficit in the first inning, and they have my back. They come through. So it's just stuff like that's going to happen. you got to keep working through it. From a pitcher's perspective, what can these type of wins do for your psyche? Just knowing that you can kind of give up runs, but you're obviously still in this game. I mean, it's huge. Um, because I, I think it kind of brings us closer at the same time. Um, I mean, we've had a lot of comeback wins so far this year, and I think it just brings us closer together, and I think it makes us realize that no matter the deficit, we're still in the game.